Welcome to Win the Day from Back to the Bible. I'm your coach, Pastor Nat. Today we're going to talk about identifying the signs of Jesus' return. Today, you can't go to a church or attend a Bible study without hearing questions about the return of Christ. You hear the talk of the signs of His return. You see, events seem to be pointing towards that imminent return that we've been talking about. Well, are there really signs? If so, what are they? Let's keep going back to the Bible for the answers. Mark chapter 13, beginning in verse 9, says this, But you, be on your guard. They will hand you over to local courts, and you will be flogged in the synagogues. You will stand before governors and kings because of me, as a witness to them. And it is necessary that the gospel be preached to all nations. Did you hear what Jesus just said? He just mentioned one of the signs of His return. It's the preaching of the gospel to all nations. Thanks to the faithful missionaries who carried and continue carrying the gospel to the remotest parts of the world, this is being fulfilled. Thanks to ministries like Back to the Bible, through radio and digital tools, the gospel is going where it has never gone before. In Mark 13, beginning in verse 7, it says, When you hear of wars and rumors of wars, don't be alarmed. These things must take place, but it is not yet the end. For nation will rise up against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places and famines. These are the beginning of birth pains. Jesus then continues in verse 19. For those will be the days of tribulation, the kind that hasn't been from the beginning of creation until now, and never will be again. If the Lord had not cut those days short, no one would be saved. But He cut those days short for the sake of the elect whom He chose. Jesus said there would be great tribulation. There will be wars and rumors of wars. It will be horrible, horrible famines, destruction, and natural disasters. In other words, it's going to get really bad. That's another sign. So the gospel is going to be preached all over the world. There will be a great tribulation. But there's also going to be false prophets who work signs and wonders. Mark 13, verse 21 through 23 says, Then if anyone tells you, See, here is the Messiah. Uh, see there. Do not believe it. For false messiahs and false prophets will arise and will perform signs and wonders to lead astray, if possible, the elect. And you must watch. I have told you everything in advance. Even Matthew chapter 24 says so. Friends, these are just three signs. And tomorrow, we're going to discover three more. But suffice it to say, though we don't know the specific hour Jesus is returning, it seems like things are falling into place. The gospel is being delivered to the ends of the earth. There are constant natural disasters, wars, rumors of wars, and even famines. Today, we find many miracle workers who are leading people astray. So what should we do because of these realities? Don't get distracted. <laughs> Push on. That's my challenge for you today. Keep your eye on the prize, that prize of eternity with Christ. We know that the victory is secured in Christ. Yes, it's going to get really bad on earth. War, persecution, false teaching, signs, but the gospel, it just marches on. We know that the gates of hell will not prevail. 
So all we need to do is follow Jesus faithfully each and every day. Jesus is coming back soon. It's my prayer that we will be ready.